Oh, I don't know. Uh, so what I'd like to do for this one is let's go ahead and see if we can factor out the GCF. Right? First thing I always want to look at it. What can we factor out? Six. Always look to factor out by the GCF, even before anything else. That's it. So you notice that they do share a six. Three, so what I'll do is before I just start guessing, I'm just going to write my GCF. Let me say, what is my GCF going to equal? Six, well, a they both have a six. six a squared, a squared. Right? So now they're both going to have an A to the second power, would be the highest factor of two that I go up to there. And they also have a B, which would only be to the first power. So we can say six A squared B. Right. So then what you simply do is we're just going to divide each one of these terms into there and see what we can pull out. All right. You can just have it in the black box. So now when I have 6a cubed b squared divided by um, 6a squared b, I'm just going to be left with 1a b and then minus 3 um, and then a squared divided by a squared is 1b, b divided by b would be 1. I don't really need to write the 1 here. So now I can write this now as a product of AB minus 3 times 6A squared B. Is that simplified? That's it? And that's going to be my final yeah. answer. Yeah. Um, yep.